two Cavalier with its utility. Now that nades come out, he moves food forward. He gets one, traded by Tarek. Zerk on this flank is everything. Yeah, they have no idea. So going in towards B, they're gonna have a very convincing execution here, and then you've got the backstab coming in from Zerk. This could be a lot to deal with. Stannis will go down first. The orb will connect as well, but we're not done yet. Remember, Zerk coming in oh. from the back tracks here. He's got the Galil, and he gets three. Huge. Perfectly executed there. The bomb will go down. Breezy to plant it, but Freak's always still have a chance, but not for long. It's down to Zerk there, and you can see it building up there, Chad. The perfect play there. It's in the smoke. I think a big part of that has been EG's willingness to not go A early. I mean, I think a lot of successes SP have been having has been off the back of some uh, aggressive defensive maneuvers. I promise that makes sense. It's just strange not to see EG more aggressive. They're waiting and he gets traded again. So this is good stuff early. He's done well to get one there. Zerg's going to catch oh. an A. Celsius with the mid shutdown. Colossal. Yeah, not done yet, though. Four on two, Ethan and Stanislaw are alive. And this man on your screen right here, he's a stone cold killer. Making his way towards the B-bomb site. You can see the presence he has, but not quite as crisp as you'd like to see. Goes to the spray, doesn't work out. Significant damage inflicted, but not enough to win the round, I would say. Four on one, Stanislaw jumps on top of the B-bomb site. And at this point, Freakazoid just waits in the smoke once again. Going for the plant, won't be happening. Yeah, they'll close in on him. And take him down before he can secure the extra bit of cash money. Zerk on sandbags. He is in a rather precarious position. He won't want to reposition as the smoke fades, and he does so. Now to deal with multiple targets. Cooper does catch another bullet. Poor old Zerk. Two AWP bullets fired, two connected. No one goes down. Finally, he converts. A pull of the trigger. Yeah, he's three for three now on successful orb shots, but can they win the round? Nice spray transfer from Marky. Uh -oh. Leads him in a three on two advantage. This kill might decide the round. Ethan gets it, but the defuse is coming in at this point. I think this might be enough here. He got the bomb though. This is actually falling apart. Now I'll have to get off. And no. still, uh -oh. is there enough time? Uh -oh. I don't. He doesn't have it. No way. No way. What got him off the bomb? I don't understand Zelsis situation like this before, where he was just doing the spin. That's a good point. He was yeah, I know what you mean. And you actually rotate off the trajectory of the bomb. Yeah. Maybe not. No, he actually wanted the frag. Okay, so that, unfortunately, is the loss of the fifth round on point. Does look like B's going to be the target. Marky's done well previously, but this time he does have the support of his teammate Zelsis. They both want to mantle and boost. This is where they can get a multi -tool. Oh, and they were expecting it. Does good damage, but already two kills on the way back into the B site. EG, they're getting chipped away at before they even get this bomb down. A whole lot of bomb plants, but now to convert it, they regroup. They gather, and a pack of Swole Patrol is coming from Jenny's. They don't have any utility here. It's going to come down to raw firepower. Tarek ready and waiting with so many players in front of him. Doesn't have the AK. Can't do the damage required. And this point, it's going to be Breezy left in a one versus three. He does have the Krieg, but a bullet to the face from the FAMAS. That will close things down. And Swole Patrol with another successful retake there. Wow, if we lose to this team, it's absolutely everything. Whereas Swole Patrol is out there just having fun. As yeah. you can see, they're enjoying themselves. They're a well drawn team and they're willing to take the fight they've got nothing to lose here they even don't, don't even have an organization we were trying to help them out in the i interview. tried to i tried you to tried your best sales pitch yeah just just put yourself out there yeah yeah we are looking for yeah team. we're looking for the team oh. either way Zolsis, this is the man in question he does find a nice shot there with the m4 just as the smoke blooms and we'll have ourselves another three versus three but it is another huge advantage for swole patrol Cirque trying to fend ah. him off from middle and then spot him and get a few bullets in his general direction but he will fall back the eagle shot is everything here but food too quick he'll take him down he could perhaps call the going ct though not a safe call by any stretch of the imagination. Now closing in, the perfect smoke for the cross will force Stan to a closer line. Breezy, he can do a lot here. He's spotted though, and Food will get the frag. Another for Swole Patrol, and another retake again. EG, they are getting into the sights, but part and parcel of that is because Swole Patrol are letting them. Marky onto Breezy, and he uh, recently hit a nice shot with his Desert Eagle back. So they've been battling to and fro back and forth we go marky's gonna get traded as well ethan with a 180 into the site and now the bombs across ethan burning burning high and now getting that bomb down 80 hp not to the end of the world oh, at all. No. that is the timing in the frag from freakazoid could get another stand for answers back 2v2 ready for the next but so was food
This has gone from bad to worse for EG. They've got the smoke on the bomb as well. Cirque is in a lot of trouble here. Of course, they've got Kit. They've double smoked it, but he does get the first frag. No defuse commitment here. And now Cirque knows he won't be on the bomb. Good flashbang. And surely the frag will fall in his favor. And it does. That would have done a lot of damage. And Cooper might be aware of it. He's not. Ethan, that's more like it. Those are the shots we expect from him. Cirque will chime in as well. All kills towards middle. And Zelsus will be dropped. Five on two. Eight, seven. Looks very likely at this stage. Food has been playing well, though. He's at the sandbags for now. Marky will anchor towards B. And they can pretty much guarantee that both of these players will be separated. So wherever they go, as long as it goes a five-man unit, should be under control here. So Ethan's taking jewels and food. Still hasn't swung. Now he will. Waits for a second to process whether there's anyone else with their back turned. But they're heading to B on the information they've managed to build up. Stan, leader of the pack. Marky does catch one in transition. That's a start. It's the final round as well here. The bomb's still yet to be planted. Finally, it goes down. This was a five-on-two situation. Now it's a three-on-one. He wants to save that smoke, just in case it was a chance of, plant of getting the defuse going. But 8-7, a fantastic half. What a resurgence that was from Swole Patrol. And that's the lineup we were talking about. Cooper will go down. Food will still get his utility out, though, so not all is lost. Cooper was just the Kevlar vest. Marky now going to try his best. Boosted up already. They're going to boost over the smoke and now try and catch. Ooh, a jiggle and a connection from that Sandbags player. Yeah, Freakazoid very aware of the prospect of the boost there towards the site. They still have a smoke for this defuse, but they might not even get close to this point. Another great shot from Food as Freezer will answer back. The P2 fouls are starting to hit shots now. He's isolated the player towards shore. That's going to be Marky. Takes care of him. The smoke down on the bomb now. And the retake oh, will begin. Good shot from Zelstis as he manages to keep this one close. Tarek will pull one back and now just slash on top of the bomb. It's Elsis now. Does he have enough in the tank here to stop this defuse coming in? He's slashing away. They need to defuse right now. What's going on at this point? Tarek, get Why are the they bomb. not defusing? They got it. They got it. They got it. Everyone calm down. Take a deep breath. They oh. knew exactly what they were doing. Ethan ready and waiting. The oh, I love it. Is absolutely spot on there. He's done enough damage. Two kills found. Smokes are down as well. And Cirque, he needs to be careful here. Why he's jumping up and being so active, I couldn't tell you. But still, a man advantage for EG here as Marky will hold towards the sandbag. Eagle towards middle. No armor there. Zelsus will be dropped. Marky and Cooper. They've only got 20 seconds. They have to commit. But they do have the weapon advantage. They had the health advantage too. But Breezy just peppers them with a FAMAS. Now, looking for the 1v3. Cooper lines up the first. Tarek, could you stop getting it so close? He saves the day again. Nobody's dropped yet on EG. The plant is going down, though, and that should be enough to at least get the party started just before he went around the corner. Cirque does lose his head, and now EG might be losing their minds. How to retake this? Five players with five Kriegs still alive on the site. Yeah, they have just a couple of smokes remaining. Both will be deployed at this point. They're going to have to stick the defuse and start covering the bomb. We'll see if that comes through. They've tapped it. They're not looking towards short. Freakers will take one kill back, and still a sea of blue is found. So, so many kills for EG at this point. The defuse comes in now. Will it be denied? It absolutely will. Two versus one. Tarot does have to sit there. There's no way he can win this one, and it will be Swole Patrol to post their first round of the second half. Well, Tarot be using the RPK spot, though. That's the question. They seem to be very aware of his presence. And they'll be taking him down. At least he gets one for his troubles. Didn't look like he was worth anything there. Breezy's still ready to fight. Ideally, he wants to try and pick up that M4 if possible, but it's not safe to do so right now. Stands his ground on the T-Flash. That's ballsy. His screen just went full white, and he still doesn't move a muscle. He's right on the edge there as well. Like, any tap of the mouth, uh, the key's the wrong way. He'd be dropping on down to his demise. Yeah, Freezy knows of the a ramp as they commit and plan. Coming up short, this should be a guarantee. Suck. Does manage to draw their attention, gets a whole lot more than he bargained for. Food from the grave strikes Ethan. 3v1 for Zelsis. He's been playing very well so far. There is a chance he wins this. Does he get the knife out again? Zelsis gets one. There's a chance, but that's all he'll find. Sanus Law gets the trade. The defuse comes in. Still an expensive round for EG, but they've recovered two Kriegs and two players survive. <laughs> Yeah, you see the uh, the fancy waistcoat of food just a second before you fall. So he needs to draw one back, and he does. That'd be fantastic, and he looks like yes, he will do. Pulling one back, that's Stanislaw towards the A ramp. He's trying to hold him at bay, buy some time here. Smoking towards short. I like the way he's playing this. 
Oh, but he gets caught just by the wide swing of Marky. Molotov should be good to stop the plan. I don't think Zelsis can continue to get it down, but it's a bad, it's oh, it's a bad molly. Spreads eventually, but Zelsis gets away with the plan. That is a problem. And now they convert it. Last kill comes in from Zelsis himself. Lost bone is not established. On the back foot. And the first kill is going to go in favor of Tara. Can he get out of here? Oh, good flashbang. Should be able to now. 50 seconds remaining. We're calling this position Snacks for no real reason, apart from its position that Snacks probably would play. Yeah, that's what we've <laughs> That's all we've already got. <laughs> but it is called Snacks, all right? Deal Believe with it. us. And uh, we are going to see the Molotovs come through. Tarek looking for a gap. The gap, he thought. Cooper doesn't. Only four. Good flash. He needs to get the spread cleanly. It's only the one. Flashes from down. me to help it. But that's the bomb loose. And that's a problem for the remaining tees. They've only got 20 cell. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's so good from Breezy. They're focusing all of their attention elsewhere. And he's going to get a, oh, a quick tap of the P2K. Breezy. You'd expect him to hit it. Baited out by the jiggle peak. And at this point, he's off the tower. Oh, that's not what you want to see. A missed spray, and into the site they go. Swole Patrol, the two necessary frags they needed to open. And it's a decision time now save. for Stanislaw. Has to be a save call. But there's not any world that I live in where they should be going. It's that Molotov, it starts to beg the question. It allows them to have the conversation now, but previously there shouldn't have been one. No, they're going to fall back. You're dead on here. They haven't got any money. Zelsa's got a nice little pop flash for the players, and it's so fast up, eh? It's caught food. Could have been a CT, Sirk, however with his orb catching freak very early into the piece. He still has to smoke a Molotov. He wanted to deploy both of those before he goes down here. Molotov will landed at back boxes and does flash a player out. This is a key frag now. Stanislaw will get it. Looking for map points on the opponent's pick. The Molly's are going to buy them time for that smoke to start to dissipate and Cirque's going to get up and over even higher. Ooh, that is quick. That's so fast. Food will not know what just hit him, and neither does Marky Tarek, just as the smoke fades will push in. EG are going to have a clean 29th round. Well, he holds his position alone. He has got Sir with him for now. But he's also with the Krieg towards the B side of the map. He's one of the best users with the weapon. You can see why. Cooper does find a gap, though, and a chance to plant. Oh, it's a huge gap. Freak so has got the bomb behind him. Brothers in arms now to save the day for Swole Patrol. Score! It's so fast. Zerg's pushing in. He wants some close quarters. Jules, he's shoving his barrel in that belly button. He wants the lint, and he's got it as well. Freak and Zoid, and oh! food. He ends it with a bang. Quad kill from Zerg. Quiet at the start and a loud crescendo in map one. Clock ticks on down. Mid is clear. Holy moly. This timing is going to be everything. Okay, so Breezy is the... <gasps> oh, no. Knife out. Now they accelerate. He gets the frag, changes his mind. Instead, that is going to propel EG into the site. And Cooper's already peppered another on the cross. Sirk will not see food. And now he can push in and flank. He's got the bomb planter. Bomb will go down regardless. But this retake, again from Swole Patrol, is looking promising. Damage this time a dink. A goosh, rather, into Cooper. They have lost what looks to be two men back to back all onto Cirque for the clutch. He has clutched a few times today. Has he got another one in the tank here? Time will tell as they spot him out here. The kill not as clean as he'd like. Celsius? Final one should be fine here. He was just hoping that would be enough. No helmets. Celsius with a device smoke and replicating some form as well. Three kills. Big spray down. Breeze will try and make up for him. It takes a nade to the face. Or small and small story situation I just built. So that's the molly that was previously extinguished. Dan's not going to hear that sound cue this time. Instead, it's going to be a CT and Sendry thrown his way. He's burning quite considerably and then straight into the orb dry. This is looking like a nightmare for each. Good flashes. Look at Zelda. It's going to be caught in the open. Oh, 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 he gets caught, as does Ethan. The bullets through the smoke effective from everyone. And Mark has caught another one through the smoke. This is ridiculous. Oh, perhaps another body to be dropped just before that smoke does fade. It's Tarek to wait for it. Holds the CT line, and he's actively fighting. He knows he needs to make it a one-man advantage. Oh, no. This timing is killing me. He's got the flash, though. Does he want to swing off this? He uses it to reposition instead. Bombs at the halfway point. They've pretty much been successful in every retake so far. Will they be able to continue this trend? Tarek will find the first. Two on two now. Orb in the mix. Now we'll go down and just pour old food. Absolutely destroyed there with the final couple of bullets. Tarek will finally break the spell. Some basic utility. And instead of a chance to win this round, it's not a foregone conclusion. Especially with Tarek. 
I'm not sure why he's expending so many bullets. That was the final shot there. They got the head of food. Does he anticipate Cooper? That's though? what I'm thinking. I think that that frag would be enough for Tarek to clear towards balcony side as he comes up this staircase. And oh, Cooper's investigation. The timing, perfect. The trade, Don't give him not a second. possible. He does manage to bang him and Ooh. finish it off. Breezy, that was a risky maneuver. And still they can pick up the Krieg. Marky, considering it, doesn't want to grab it just yet, but there it is. Walks off. If they be execute within the next 20 or so seconds, they're probably going to be safe. I don't expect Marky just to... Is he going? Is he instantly just going to rush over to B? He is. So even though they know the Krieg's on that side of the map, they haven't committed towards B just yet. They need everyone there. The longer they wait, the, the danger becomes that the Krieg can shift on over. Yeah, it's coming now. They can boost the player in spawn as well. It's often overlooked. It's a fake. It's a fake. And they know that's a fake. Oh, well, they've got all three players rotated over, but immediately reacting because of the information. The banana is all too clear, getting awkward now, charging into the site up short. They'll be getting this bomb down for the after plan. Oh, oh the saved Krieg gets both through the smoke. Marky, that's a phenomenal catch. Through the smoke, easy as you like, oh. and now a three on one, oh, and he's got no God. chance. He hits that first shot somehow, but it's all down to Marky there. He times it to perfection with the creek on the cross. Sucker for a good pun. Cooper is a sucker for an opening pick. What did he even see of Stan then? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was 99% blind shot. He knows it's a commonly weighted in angle when you throw a grenade down and a dink. Good grief. Go around. I think you might be right here, Chad. 30 seconds and they will edge out, though. They've got no idea. They'll make a drop down down towards the pit. And Tarek, well, that's a surprise they weren't anticipating. It was looking great. The crossfire was established, but Swell Patrol had no idea they could actually walk out, drop down, and find a quick kill like that. React to that. He's not expecting this. There's no way. He's dead. Yeah, not really sure what he was up to there, to be honest with you. Big sound cue. And it's led them to a five on four advantage. Swole Patrol will rotate players over towards B. That's going to be Cooper trying to drop the incendiary for the commitment, but it's a fake again. And a convincing Who one. Knows? We have had Marky leaving the area, but food, he does have the incendiary, and they're going to have to respect it. There's nothing they can do about it. There's no smoke to extinguish, and now the rotation to come back through. At least Marky arrives at the scene of the crime, but this has to be a couple of kills for food in the pit. Good Molly. There you go through it, and here's the frags. Keep your eyes on food. He's under a lot of pressure. And it's going to be close. Instead, Cooper's the one to claw something back. Advantage maintained for Swole Patrol in the after plan. And such oh. jumps across. That was ballsy. My God, Cooper was holding the line and he knew it. It's the retakes, though, that have been so promising for Swole Patrol. A three on two in their favor, but only one flashbang to speak of. Nowhere near the bomb yet. Two players towards the arch side, hoping for a mistake to come through. One of the most deadly aims in North America. Ethan sets himself up towards the bomb site here. Can't connect to the head just yet. Turns his attention towards the apartments, and that's where I'll have to find the shot. Can't do it. Ethan knows to hit those sort of shots, and this time the bomb will be defused. I meant I meant eco kills. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Tarek comes in. Marky onto Tarek. <laughs> here we again. go. The trade <laughs> continues. Just, just jumping for information ah. here, and well. It's going to be Cirque just ready and waiting. Plucks him out of midair there. It was a dangerous maneuver to say the very least, but Freak Assault is a dangerous man. Maybe you can recover this situation. He sprays the AK-47. Good for one. Not going to work out, though, as the plan will come through. I think a safe call is on the cards here, especially with the positioning of Breezy. He's not going to be making any footsteps, confirming the banana's clear. Oh, don't not look, the timing don't again. Look He's been done to this before. Oh. Why is he so fixated to sit behind the steps if you have to they've, do? They've adjusted their entire A defense to deal with this kind of play, right? They're playing two in boiler every single time. They can be fast to react if it is a B play, and they can also deal with Breeze's luck, and they have a great chance of this retake. Oh my yeah. goodness, yeah, they've modded out new boxes. It's another one of the small patrol trademark retakes. It's happened again. Advantage firmly in their hands, and Ethan's only going to get it. one, and they've done it again and again. Eight now for Swole Patrol with another successful retake. I'm just worried with Breeze not online, and one of their key individuals on a map like this, especially on the CT side. What kind of defense are they going to be able to put up here? Once again, they go towards eight. It's now it's to try to go. Freakazoid ready and waiting, gets two big frags. With Marky getting traded out there. And now it's just a 2 1 4 situation. This is looking very much like a 9 6 half. I think you might be right there. 
Ethan and Stanislaw, not a whole lot to do here. Incendiary, smokes, it's all a bit of a nightmare. Stanislaw trying to thread the needle towards CT spawn. Successfully does so in the form of finding Freakazoid here. With 40 seconds remaining, his teammate has the bomb. Spawn to A, spawn to A. Yeah, he's going towards the apartments here with the bomb. So Stanislaw holds here. Wait, where's Ethan going? Ethan. Is he committed? No, he's not. Okay. So Stanislaw needs to find one more kill, but they don't have time to really do so at this point. Ethan will have to do something if he goes down the round's over. It's over. That's it. Well, good try. Yeah, I mean, it would nearly nearly worked. It did pull the AKs, or rather the CTs, to start their move towards the B site with Stan showing his face. But yeah, with nine seconds, they know where he is. He's got to be careful not to die after time here. I feel like Stan, if he would have been running the entire time yeah. there, got some noise towards CT spawn, then he can maybe get out. No time. And that's the end of the half, so I should shut up. But 9-6 will be the end of the half. Already Swole Patrol have manufactured a lead. Let's see if they can take us to three. Yeah, there it goes. Flying in towards new box of seasons. Flashed as well, so we take a lot of damage. Both into the open. It's worked perfectly. What another coordinated pistol round. Now it'll down to Tarek Dane, and he's only going to be allowed to get one. Now the retake for EG. Let's see if they've got anything close to what uh, we saw from Swole Patrol's retakes. This advantage still. I think they were trying to do that silently. But now Zelsius has been spotted, and nice frag on to Cirque. There's two in that pit. That doesn't even matter, because Zelsius is killing them all. Finally, he gets in. He won't expect Freakazoid. He will expect Freakazoid. And Whoa! another! Oh, Freezy's back, baby! 9-7, and it was such a spectacular way to acquire it. That's actually <laughs> insane. That's what we're talking about. That's what we've been bigging up in the pregame. It reads 10, right? That's when it starts to drop off. So ultimately, like, you never need to rebuy armor, ever. You don't need to top it up. Because if Cirque falls, the rotation from the B site is very far away. Well, that's sensational. Four versus two. Freezy watching the pit from Graveyard. And as the dropout comes through, not the cleanest, but absolutely fine. Zels is now just with 46 points of health. Should be taken care of momentarily at this point. And there it is. The final kill will come in as Evil Geniuses will find it. Double digits. Ethan, not bad at the AK-47 as well. Flash goes over. Spray straight to the body of Marky. The execute is the best you can do. Almost guarantee yourself a four on two in a lot of scenarios. But each year ready, they drop their counter utility. And into the smoke they go, into the bullets. And now... <gasps> Celsius has done it again. He's having such a good map here on Inferno. Yeah, he really is. Amazing shot there. He's got 16 HP. He's got no business winning that duel, I have to say. But it looks like the Kree will reign superior once again, this time in the hands of the CT. The Spoon fighting his way back into this round the best he can in a two versus one now. But still, the flank will come in. Breezy to shut the round down. Back into the first nice kill, shot. and Cooper is ready for it. So that might have been the run boost across, and there's a second kill available <laughs> through the corner of the wall. You can Damn. see why we're bigging this guy up so much. He has a fantastic orb bag given the opportunity. Unaware of who actually could come in behind him. He needs to be ready oh, for it. Oh, he missed! And not going to land the shot. And now Tarek to receive food's coming fast through holes. If Tarek can get this kill, there's a chance they can stop the push. Oh, but he heard the steps from short. He panicked. And that will be the round, a huge one for Swole Patrol. This could have put match point on the board for the evil geniuses. I would say just leave that orb there. If you can have an orb of barrels established, he's fine. Get Cirque out. Stannis yeah. order first. Commitment to a squad now. They know where he is. Oh, there's a Molotov as well. He's burning. Stan wants to get one. He's done some damage. But it's Cooper and Food to frag. Tarek standing his ground. Huge. And he's got the multi-kill he needed. All three pulls home 15. Easy. Very aggressive for yeah. this round. And he's got players coming towards him as well. This could be problematic. Is he aware of Food's presence? It doesn't matter. He gets out of there. That's the correct call. Maintain his advantage. Play for the win here. Get the crossfires established now. Look out for the apartments. No one's got eyes in it. And a player is at the end. It's going to be Food. And he's already out. He could actually get a couple here. Breezy will shut him down. Still not a guaranteed round yet. No, by no stretch of the imagination. Swell Patrol have won bigger deficits than this. Admittedly, the tagged up Marky and the Zelsis CZ-75 don't look particularly promising. And Tarek's already tapped away at Cooper. Just Celsius and Marky to keep the dream alive for Swell Patrol on Inferno in this series. It can end in two frags time, and the both could be delivered by Cirque, or maybe just the one, because Ethan's done one. Breezy puts the cherry on top. EG beats Swole Patrol. Two to zero here.